Ladies and gentlemen, grab yourself a hot cup of coffee. We're in for a treat today. We have a Google Home, Amazon Alexa, enabled controlled sunrise wake up alarm clock with solid color features or mixed color features. We have time, snooze, FM radio, and of course alarm function. Brighten just like the sunrise, especially if you have blackout curtains and you need a little light to wake you up. Just like all my videos in the description box right below the video, top link will be the link for this exact same clock where you guys can read more about it. Pick one up yourself after the video is done. Again, top link in the description box below. Instruction manual, power cord, probably a uh, backup battery for if power goes out, and of course our clock right here. Now it's not too large, and what's nice about that is that looks really sharp, especially in my remodeled bedroom. I'll show you here in just a second here. So as you can see, now I have big hands, but we're covering it right there. Coming around here is your FM antenna wire here. You have a reset power input here. You do have a USB as well. So this actually could power and charge your cell phone as well in the back. You have your speaker here, and then you have all your functions here. It looks like you have your dimness, snooze over here, uh, plus and minus one, to your settings, FM radio, and it looks like Wi-Fi connection right here to hook it up to your Alexa or Google Home. Of course, the time will be displayed here. There are a total of eight colors and six mix colors. You can adjust the brightness of the colors as well. It has four different alarms, and you can do a simulated sunrise or a simulated sunset. It has sleep sounds as well, so this can be a noise machine, which is great as well. And you can double this up as a Bluetooth speaker, of course, with the FM radio as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, very, very nice. We're getting some swirls here, multicolor. We can have it on that setting, of course. Let me show you a couple features we've already looked at here. It is trying to uh, go over Wi-Fi. I have downloaded the app. We'll get to that in just a second. So it has two different alarms right here. And let's go ahead and hold that down and we'll look right here. And this is where you change the uh, the time of it. But what I wanna show you is, we're gonna briefly listen just a few of these. So you can like wake up with music, some chimes, other kind of chimes, uh, uh, wind chimes. Typical alarm. Water. waves and kind of a jungle theme. Uh, there we go, off right there. And then that's also how you get to your white noise, which is under the F category. And we'll get to that in just a second. And some people do prefer to wake up to an FM radio, and that is possible with this as well, instead of an alarm noise. And there are 20 different settings for the alarm sound volume. So we hit that alarm, we hit it again. That's gonna go to minutes, we hit it again. That's your sounds, let's get off that. So as you can see here, now we're on the highest. And here is your, the U. And so we only had it on half volume when I showed you the examples. That's half volume. And then of course it goes pretty low. Now if you don't wanna wake up with the light, then what you would do here is you would go to your area here and go ahead and do off. And so that, when the alarm goes off, there will be no light, but there will be sound. And of course, you can control the light brightness as well. Off, L1, all the way up to, oh goodness, it actually goes really high, L20. So that's really nice if you want L20 for a nice little sunlight that'll shine on your face, especially if you're waking up at like four in the morning, this might be a really good go-getter for you to get your energy pump in. Because I wake up, I sleep in, I have natural beautiful windows that shine in some light right on my bed right here with my puppy Berea, and we wake up just nicely. But for my early morning bike rides, that would be nice for sure when I'm getting up and it's still very much dark outside. And you do have your touch sensitive buttons on top, which are pretty cool. The directions right here kind of state what they are, light and atmosphere. You can go ahead and pause that and take a look at that right there. Let's go ahead and tap that and we uh, start changing colors as we can see right here. And then I think we can hold it down for brightness as well. Let's see, we hold it down there, yep, goes off. And hold it down, it goes all the way up for a little bedside lamp. So you could have it like on a color like that for a little bedside lamp, blinking kind of whatever you want to do there, play around with that. All right, we can't play too much, but we're gonna go ahead and show you the Bluetooth function. And we actually kind of have a, that's pretty cool. So it's very subtly kind of going with the music a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Very cool, and sorry, we just can't play too much of that. Don't want to copyright. Now let's get into the juicy features. We've downloaded the app. We're going ahead and pairing it right now. Simple instructions, it'll go ahead and pair up. We'll also link it to my Amazon account, so stay tuned for that. We also can rename it. Right now it's on the stock name A90. We've changed it to alarm clock and we'll save that. Okay, once again, this is where it gets nice and juicy. So let's say, for instance, it's on my dresser right here. And sorry, my dog has messed up my bed, but let's say I don't put it over here and I keep it on my dresser and I forget to do a certain feature on it or something like that we have app controlled right here so we go from uh, we're on kind of a red right here let's go over to green on our wheel and we're at green and uh, you can also just do all these right here purples so again if this isn't in your bedroom this is kind of like a little like cool little table in your living room super awesome uh, let's go a couple sunrises right here it kind of goes a little quickly uh speed you can change that all the way down so it goes a little bit slower one percent very gradually you can set all your alarms right here sound on birds you can change all this you can repeat it so the app gives you a lot more really cool properties Pretty much all of us, we put our phone next to our nightstand. And so if you don't really feel like fumbling around with buttons, then just go on your phone and do it over your phone. Sunrise brightness, sunrise time, 10 minutes. You can knock that up or down, minimum of five. Support snooze, alarm mode. We have radio, radio plus light, just light, sound and light, or just sound. Again, this is all through your app. Repeat every day. Of course, you save these, preview it. I chose sounds with no light, so we have birds. Let's do sound and light, and you can raise the volume. Very cool. Also, you can do for sleep, the different durations for your noise machine, and you can do crickets, waves, raining. Let's go raining and preview, and you can undo the light, but let's say you like light while you're going to bed. Very nice. Let's see if we can do, so a uh, minimum duration, 10 minutes, all the way up to 120 minutes for that. Toggle it off right there on your phone. Bluetooth and radio, all right here on the app as well. Uh, 24 hour clock or 12 hour clock, network timing, automatic brightness. Well, because this is a review video, I do have to add this. Um, there are directions for pairing it with your Amazon Alexa device. Other reviewers have stated they are able to do it. For some reason, I'm having a real tough time adding it to my Amazon Alexa app, even after I've enabled the skill and stuff like that. I'll continue to work on it, and if I can get it before this video is done, I'll let you know. But it's something that is a little bit tricky, and my other devices, when I do this same process, is real simple. This one, I'm having to scratch my head a little bit to be able to figure that out. So do keep that in mind, but again, other reviewers are stating that they have been able to connect their Google and Alexa devices. Now, for all the four alarm settings, your additional two alarms will be in the app, and then, of course, your manual two will be on top of the unit here. And if you want this a little bit more dimmer, then you go over here to the little dial here. You'll go ahead and hit that. That will turn off completely. Dimmest, medium, uh, and I think that might be the highest. Nope, that's the highest there. So four different settings and then off. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's your alarm there. Of course, mess with those settings. I have the sunrise brightness on 37%. Let me go ahead and hit snooze. There we go. Well, folks, overall, the clock definitely has some really cool features to it. I'd say the only con so far is trying to figure out how to link it up to Amazon, but it does look really nice and kind of modern and sleek, especially with those LED lights with the diffuser. Uh, very little hot spots on the interior portion, so it's a nice glow there. Not to mention for your child's room, your office, Definitely a lot packing in this thing. So I'll let you guys go ahead and dive on into it. Again, you get more features by downloading the app, a lot more smart features doing it that way. Or of course, if you don't wanna download the app, you can still do a majority of the features in the way we saw earlier in the video. Once again, in the description box, right below the video top link will be this LED clock light where you guys can read more about it, see what other people are saying. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything I'm making a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on the way out, helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you like videos like this, as well as the 
DIY house builds like this, DIY van life builds, and cute puppy videos. We will see you on the next video. My name's Chris. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.